Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be seeing about the lymphatic drainage of the breast. The topics that are gonna be covered in this video are the introduction, then the lymph nodes involved, then the lymphatic status, the lymph vessels involved, then the clinical anatomy. This lymphatic drainage of the breast has a greater importance clinically because the breast cancer is closely associated with the lymphatic drainage of the breast. So when one side of the breast is affected, most common victim is none other than the breast on the other side. It is mainly because of the lymphatic communication between both the breasts. Of course, the pudy orange appearance or the stiffness of the breast, it may be the signs and symptoms of the breast cancer. But the most common is the swelling up of the axillary lymph nodes. A person affected by the breast cancer, if they put their fingers over the armpit, they could feel the swollen lymph nodes. So, it is one of the cardinal features of the breast cancer. So, the lymphatic drainage of the breast, it can be dealt into two topics. One is the lymph nodes involved and the lymphatic vessels, that is the lymphatics. First, let me mention you the groups of lymph nodes involved in the lymphatic drainage of the breast. Then we will be dealing it one by one. So, these are the groups of the lymph nodes. First, the axillary lymph nodes. Based on their location, they are further divided into five subgroups. One is the anterior axillary lymph node located along the anterior axillary fold. Then posterior axillary lymph node along the posterior axillary fold. Then lateral, then central, then apical. Then the second group is internal mammary. Then third group is supraclavicular that is about the clavicle bone. Then fourth is cephalic. It is also called as the delta pectoral lymph node. Then the posterior intercostal lymph nodes, then subdiaphragmatic that is below the diaphragm and subperitoneal that is beneath the peritoneum. Uh, again, I am mentioning the lymph nodes involved with the pictorial representation. So the axillary group of lymph nodes include the anterior axillary lymph node along the anterior axillary fold, then the posterior axillary lymph node along the posterior axillary fold. Then the central axillary, then the lateral axillary and the apical. So here you can see the internal mammary located along the inner aspect of the breast. Then the supraclavicular lymph nodes located above the clavicle. Then the delta pectoral lymph node it is located in between the deltoid region and the pectoral region. So somewhat here. Uh, those deltopectoral lymph nodes are one or two in number and uh, they are uh, located in between the pectoralis major muscle and the deltoid muscle. Then uh, the posterior intercostal muscles, they are located on the posterior aspect of the body in between the intercostal spaces, that is the posterior intercostal spaces. Then uh, coming to the subdiaphragmatic. So the diaphragm is located somewhat here. So the lymph nodes uh, located immediately below the diaphragm, they are called as the subdiaphragmatic lymph nodes. The lymph nodes present beneath the uh, peritoneum, it is called as the subperitoneal lymph nodes. Subperitoneal group of lymph nodes. Hope you might all know that the peritoneum is nothing but the serous membrane lining the abdominal cavity. Coming to the next topic, lymphatics. This could be divided into two groups. One is the superficial lymphatics, another one is the deep lymphatics. So the superficial lymphatics, it drains lymph all over the skin of the breast except the two parts. One is the nipple and the other one is the areola. Particularly drains skin over the breast. This deep lymphatics, it drains the parenchyma of the breast. Then the nipple as well as the areola. Now coming to the percentage of the lymph drained by each group of lymph nodes. So the lymphatic drainage of the breast, about 75% of the lymph, it is drained by the axillary group of lymph nodes, which includes the subgroups that is anterior axillary, posterior axillary, lateral, central and apical. Then 20% it is by the internal mammary group. Then 5% it is by the posterior intercostal group. Now coming to the root of drainage of lymph from the axillary group of lymph nodes. 
first the lymph from the breast passes to the anterior and the posterior group of lymph nodes then from there it passes to the central and lateral from there it passes to the apical and then finally into the supraclavicular group of lymph nodes it's worth mentioning it again so the lymph from the axillary group it first passes to the anterior and the posterior axillary lymph nodes from there it passes to the central and lateral from there it passes to the apical group of lymph nodes then into the supraclavicular lymph nodes now coming to the internal mammary group of lymph nodes so this drains not only the inner half but also outer half as well i am again mentioning it this internal mammary group of lymph nodes it not only drains the inner half of the breast but also outer half as well hope you all know that the breast is divided into four quadrants that is the upper medial lower medial upper lateral and lower lateral so this internal mammary group of lymph nodes not only drains the upper medial and lower medial but also it drains the upper lateral and lower lateral portions of the breast next is about the subareolar plexus of sapi so the lymph plexus present beneath the areola is called as the subareolar plexus of sapi so is the name that is subareolar that is present beneath the areola so this mainly drains into the anterior group of axillary lymph nodes and as well as to the pectoral group of lymph nodes so lymphatics from the deep surface of the breast they either pierce the pectoralis major muscle and they also pierce the clavipectoral fascia and they finally drain into the apical group of lymph nodes else they pierce the pectoralis major muscle and they drain into the internal mammary group of lymph nodes hope you already know that the breast is subdivided into four quadrants that is upper medial lower medial upper lateral and lower lateral so the lymphatics from the lower and inner quadrants of the breast that is the lower medial group they drain into the subdiaphragmatic or subperitoneal group of lymph nodes so the lymph from the lower and inner quadrant of the breast it passes to the subdiaphragmatic and subperitoneal group of lymph nodes by crossing the coastal margin and piercing the anterior abdominal wall 